My name is Jack, and today I will be telling you a little bit about Yemen. Yemen is a small Middle Eastern Arabic country and has been a center of civilizations for as long as 3,000 years ago. For several hundreds of years, the area was a group of kingdoms and fell under Ethiopian rule and later under the Persian Empire. In the 7th century, the land was controlled by various Islamic rulers until the 16th century when the Turks took control under the Ottoman Empire. In the 20th century, Yemen was divided into North and South Yemen. The South became a communist state in 1970, and North Yemen remained an independent state. The two countries were unified as the Republic of Yemen in 1990. Sana'a is the capital city. Yemen is roughly 528,000 kilometers in size, which is slightly larger than Wyoming. The general terrain is a narrow coastal plain backed by flat, topped hills and rugged mountains. Its interior is marked by desert slopes and fertile plains. Yemen is located in southwest Asia at the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula between Oman to, north, to the northeast and Saudi Arabia to the north. Its location is very strategic since it links the Red Sea to the Indian Ocean via the Babel Mandeb Strait and is one of the most active and strategic shipping lanes in the world. Because of its thousands of years in existence and multicultural influence, and multicultural influence, Yemen culture and food share a direct link with its Middle Eastern neighbors. And since the climate is very similar in neighboring countries, fruits and vegetables and meats that are used in an old world recipes tend to mesh and is it's difficult to extract specific time and date of introductions of recipes. Today I'm introducing a re recipe for pistachio rolled date balls. Both dates and pistachios are grown and harvested in Yemen and the surrounding Arab world dates and the surrounding Arab world. Dates are a fruit that grow on the leaves of, di of date palm trees. The use of dates in Yemen specifically is not known, however there is an old Arabic legend that talks of its use in foods. It is said that after God finished molding man from earth, he took the remaining material and shaped it into a date palm tree, which he placed it in the, which he placed in the garden of paradise. It has been historically noted that for over 50,000 years, date palm trees and their fruit have been, on a central, have been an essential part of the Arab culture and their diet. The ancient Mesopotamian civilization recognized the date palm not only as a sweet fruit, but the palm leaves and trees have been used as lumber mattresses, rope, baskets, needles, thread, as well as other primitive household items, including food and beverage. Ancient Arab cultures made date syrup as a sweetener to many foods and drinks. Date palms are said to grow with their feet in the water and heads in the sun because they need groundwater to drink and hot arid water, weather to pr produce the fruit. They typically produce the fruit once a year between July and August. Dates are similar to prunes in size and have a very sweet taste and sticky caramel-like consistency. They are a very healthy fruit and are widely used in dinner as well as desert recipes. They contain a nutritious source of vitamins and minerals. Pistachios are the other ingredient in my recipe and they are an indigenous small tree that grows in Yemen. Now I'll show you how to make my recipe. So you're going to need uh, shelled um, pistachios and ground pistachios and dates and whole almonds and so first you need to get the pistachio and s smash it with the end of a knife or something hard and then you can pour that into a bowl on the side Next, you take a, one of the dates and you open it up to the inside and you find the pit and you take it out and you can put that in a bowl to the side. And then you need to turn the date inside out where it's all, you know when it's uh, ready because it's all sticky on the inside. And then you form a little ball out of the date and stick an almond into the center where the pit was. Then continue to cover that up. 
Then you take the date and roll it in the pistachios until it is completely covered. And then you have date balls.